Hi guys, welcome to Teddy's Kitchen. Uh, today is my very first time doing this video. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this for the longest time and I finally got my stuff together and I'm here. So if uh, you would like to subscribe to my kitchen, uh, go ahead and hit that notification button and subscribe. Now, if you're old school like me, then you might want to get one of your kids or your grandkids to do it because my granddaughter had to teach me how to how to do it. So uh, go ahead and, and subscribe. It'll be worth you watching my, my videos because I have plenty of recipes to show you. So today, my first um, recipe is going to be Manhattan clam chowder. And that's the red clam chowder, not the creamy one. Uh, later on, um, I will show how to do the, the creamy clam chowder. But for today, I'm going to do the red clam chowder. And these are my um, items that I'm going to be using for the Mahan uh, clam chowder. Um, we have, these are three tomatoes, medium size. And this is... Um, zucchini but it was a really big zucchini so if you have the do the smaller ones and you can use two and then i just bought the little bag of the uh, carrots and so i just cut them in uh in half because they were a little big and then uh that's this is probably like two cups and then we have an onion and this is um I'm going to say, let me see, probably a little over half an onion and the big size. And because I love a lot of potatoes in my clam chowder, uh, this is three uh, medium potatoes. And uh, I got this, uh, the uh, whole baby clams. I got three jars and they do come in juice. And then I got one can of the uh, clam chowder juice. So uh, I have my, uh, oh, wait a minute, can't forget one of the main ingredients, and this is uh, oregano. So what we're going to do is that we are going to bring all these items, and I'm just going to dump them in the pot. And actually, I have one-third of oil. And just put them in there because I'm going to saute everything. a spoon and you just turn everything around and then you want to put in the oregano so you just want to that there and uh, I don't really do a lot of measuring so I go as you know I put it in oops there goes that carrot and um, and then if I see that it needs more then I'll put a little more so I'm gonna put just a little bit more and I believe that the amount that I use is going to be probably like, for this amount, uh, probably like um, four, three to four tables, uh, not tablespoons, but teaspoons of oregano. So I had to change the pot real quick because the other one was uh, too small for because I have to add water to it. So I quickly changed it into this uh, bigger pot. And so you saute the vegetables for about uh, 10 uh, minutes. And after you saute it, then you're gonna put uh, the salt. So uh, like I said, I usually like put it in and then if I have to um, put more, that's, that's probably like a teaspoon. So you wanna put like two teaspoons and then later on I'll test it to see if it, it needs more, uh, more salt. So, I think that it looks sauteed. So then I'm gonna add, I already measured this. This is about six cups of water. There you go. And then I'm gonna throw in my um, my uh, little uh, jar or, or glass of uh, clams. And the clams are 
or uh, also have the uh, the juice in it. So you just want to throw the whole thing in there. And I'm using three um, three of these little cans, and and they're uh, let me see five ounces. So. That's what I'm using. And these are whole baby clams, but you can use the chopped ones, whatever you choose to. It's uh, up to you. And so um, this is actually really good. And I forgot here that I'm going to be using one of these little cans of uh, tomato sauce. And they're the small size. So um, you pour it in there and now, uh, this is a recipe, my recipe, but um, my uh, mom and my dad, they make um, a recipe like this, but it's for a, a catfish uh, soup. And um, for all you who like uh, catfish, uh, this is another way to do it with uh, with the catfish. Now my mom, when she makes it, she gets one of the small uh, catfish and uh, she cuts it in three, she cleans it out. But you could also do the uh, the nuggets, the catfish nuggets. So for all you uh, uh, catfish lovers. So I just pour everything in there. So see how it looks a little red now? There you go. And so now I'm going to taste just to see the salt. And that tastes good. So now we're going to let it simmer. So it's been boiling for about 30 minutes, but uh, you just want to check that the vegetables are um, are soft, and that is what it's looking like. And then I check the vegetables; they're all soft. So now we're gonna pour a bowl. You see all that, all the clams. Mmm, smells delicious too. Some of that juice mm. smells delicious. So now, um, I like to eat mine with bread, and you could eat it with crackers, whatever you like. I like to put some of my favorite hot sauce. You could put your favorite hot sauce. Uh, baby girl, you want to give me a grandma's spoon? Yeah. And, um, and you could put a uh, tapatillo, chalula, whatever your favorite hot sauce is. I got this one. This is called Valentina, and it's the extra hot one because I'm a spicy eater. So you could put lemon. I'm not a. I don't like to put lemon in my soups or tacos or whatever, but uh, a lot of people do. So now you just. I like to do this first when I first eat it just because I'm a salty kind of person, so if it needs more salt, I just add more salt. Mmm. No more salt. That is delicious. There you go. And then I'm gonna drink it with one of my lemonades. This one is a lim uh, mango lemonade. Usually I put fresh mangoes, but I didn't have any mango, so. I hope that you enjoyed my video. I hope that when you make it, you enjoy it. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Hit that button. And uh, until next time.